Hey all there virtual farmers and crafters, how you doing? Thanks for clicking and welcome to the shortest guide I could do on how to get a barn and garden pause. This chain is a bit lengthy, but a rewarding process that results in a barn to house our animals. That can also be upgraded several more times by Frank to hold even more animals. I had some problems with my creative mode, probably from overloading it and deciding to make a whole new game save. In doing so, starting my story mode all over again, and I figured I would do a couple quest chain videos for those who got lost along the way. The whole thing actually starts out really early in the game, from a letter in your mailbox from Mr. Jones a day after purchasing your first chicken coop from Frank's upgrade table. Attached with that uh, came three chicks and some bird feed for ya. The next step is visiting Mr. Mooney on the outskirts of town for the Poop Collector Gathering quest that will require 20 poop piles to complete. This could come from your own chicks or visit back around this area daily to shovel some of Mr. Jones's or Mr. Mooney's yards. There are also some wild ducks that may drop some that you can find while you're out exploring. Collect up as much as possible because when you give this NPC some poop, he's just going to want more, among other things, in a sizable shopping list. But at least we're on to addressing some important needs for our future cattle herd. The quest is called Food for Cows, and that's what Mooney will have us doing now. The goal for this is 50 wheat either grown or collected from the small wild wheat patch. It's a bonus that we're also given a blueprint for the sickle tool and 500 gold. With this tool, cutting down tall grass will be possible and necessary for future quests. Each one of these quests may end up taking a few days to gather materials, but Mooney will try his hardest to wear you out. We're into step 4. Starting construction on a barn by helping collect up 30 wood. Just the basic log pieces that can be gathered on the ground or chopped from trees. Name of this quest is Mooney's Farm in the quest log for reference, but after that it's on to step 5. And remember that sickle blueprint from turning in the wheat? We're gonna need that now for the quest Tall Grass Order, which is exactly 20 tall grass. This can be found in the wild in abundance, usually densely packed out and around the deer, but is located sporadically across the map. You might as well keep at it for a while. Once again, you give this fuzzball some stuff and he's just gonna want more of it. Like I mentioned before, he's gonna want some more crap for some reason. So the second exclamation point for the quest is Poop Collector Part 2, in which we need 50 more piles to finish. If you guessed that we're about to be sent for something we already gathered, then you're correct. The next return to Mr. Mooney and he'll request 50 tall grass this time. Maybe you already know this, but you can always track your progress through the log in the menu to access, hit the L key, and it'll have a running list of your pending or completed objectives. Check all those off the list and the task he gives is collecting 50 more wood for the quest named Building Mr. Mooney's Shop. If you have energy left over or scavenge for every log you can find. And of course, he'll let you know that he needs more materials in a couple of days. Noted. To do the next in the chain of finishing Mooney's Shop, it will require 50 stone. Hang in there for the marathon, because right after this, guess what? Stairs to the shop, of all things, so pile on a list of 20 stone blocks if you're not already well stocked on rocks. You might want to start now! At this point, you'll be given the quest Looking for Work, in which you are prompted to go speak with Mayor Wilson about hiring a shop assistant for Mr. Mooney. Run errands and get some sleep while waiting for further instructions in the mail from the mayor. You'll find the quest starter Helping Hands in the mailbox. It reads, I've sent word out to the mainland and have been informed that they have plenty of people looking for work in Florence. They'll be sending someone tomorrow morning. Please welcome them at the town shipyard tomorrow morning. We are eventually able to wander down to the dock where Conrad hangs out to look for the newcomer Jacob. 
This would be the new worker for Mr. Mooney, and they're spending the day looking around town. But you can go ahead and let Mr. Mooney know for quest completion of Helping Hands. He lets you know that you might want to check back tomorrow when the shop is opening. Just why do I get the feeling he's going to have something else for us to do, though? What this actually is, is a sales pitch for his new inventory. Shortly, you're sent off to talk with Frank about getting that barn of your own in a barn for cattle, or Mooney can't profit off of you needing calves. Frank is happy to give you unsolicited advice about raising cows, but you ignored it, so his next request is bringing him ten large wooden boards for the fence to enclose the barn at your home. Once you've given those over, he tells you that he's going to get it started tomorrow. So, back to shopkeeping, gathering, and sleep. When awaking the next morning, there will be a small wooden barrier constructed around where your barn goes. If you have anything built in that location, it would be a good idea to move that to another location now, and then make your way over to chat with Frank again so you can pick up fence for a barn. Might want to bring along another 10 large wooden boards if you have them, because that would be the building materials he's going to require to finish this portion, and it will be done by the next morning when you get up. Like any sturdy structure, we're going to need a solid foundation. Noticing Frank has put up the fence means that you can now run back to town and bug him about finishing the rest. Pick up the base for a barn from the koala so that you can get on with the mining materials for the 20 stone blocks. In turn, he lets you know that he's going to take a few days to finish it, so back to doing everyday activities. We've got a shop to run, still to afford all those feeding troughs. With two days rolled forward on this calendar, it's time to go by Frank's house once again to initiate the final step for getting this barn built. That's another 10 large wooden boards and 20,000 gold for the quest building the barn. He lets you know that the job will be done tomorrow, and that it comes complete with a built-in dryer that can make hay to feed animals by leaving stacks of tall grass for two days. Following up with the quest barn built, Frank will advise you to go talk to Mr. Mooney to fill your new barn with livestock. You'll always be able to find cows for Mooney, but you'll also be able to breed them in a few more steps down the story. Finishing the line for the barn leads to opening up the animal shop in the upgrade table. Buying the addition includes the NPC Poppy along with her storefront that sells a variety of animals and teaches you how to breed them. It's also the prerequisite for the stable habitat for horses that I'll cover in a future video. Future upgrades to the barn can be purchased from Frank's table for some hefty gold, but it's worth the investment in being able to keep extra animals that provide valuable resources. When players have kept going through the seasons into the winter of year one, check the mailbox because there'll be a gift from your grandparents called It's Cold Outside. It's a blueprint for a craftable barn that will greatly let you expand on your animal raising capabilities. It's not as swanky as the built questing version, but that's alright. It's just another reason to do some new building projects on the blank world that's barely gotten started. I need my buddy Trustworthy's help to farm up some more materials and get these quests done. But thanks for sticking around, doll, and I hope this was helpful in getting your barn and garden paws. Take care, all, and bye! -bye.